explain <laughs> this confiscation. Yay. So you guys keep asking what you're hearing in the background. You are hearing these crazies over here. <laughs> So, we have Mark right there, we have Elowen over there. Now, we got a huge confiscation, that was four years ago. Yeah, well, it was three because it was right after the termination. I'm talking about the first one. Oh, Mark yeah, yeah, yeah. Elowen. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was five years ago. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, we got a huge confiscation, um, it was kind of... It was a hoarding situation and all parent rescue could only take some of them. So we took the other. Um, and the gentleman ended up getting a lot of his birds back. 12. 12 of the birds back. Out of how many do you remember? 84. Out of 84 birds to kind of give him a chance to see if he can rectify his animal hoarding and poor quality of care for these guys. He didn't. So three years ago, we got a phone call from animal control saying that they need to rehome huh. 10 more birds. Um, the other two had already passed away. So we do take in these guys who need homes. Parrots, people like them because they're pretty, but they don't realize that some species can live over 80 years. They're not great family pets. They kind of only really attach themselves to one person, become attack birds to everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we have Bob over here, and then we have Millie, who is also part of that confiscation. We also have a couple surrenders. You all have met Gertie inside. Uh, she was supposed to be just a surrender, but she ended up being a rescue too because of the animal neglect that was happening. It wasn't, the lady wasn't out to do neglect. She just wasn't able to give her the proper care. Hi, Bob. Hi, hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi, Laherk. Elowen. Elowen. Oh, I didn't even see Cypress down below. Yeah, Cypress. He's the devil bird. <gasps> he is, man. <laughs> he tries to get me every time, like Elowen tries to get Jeremy. Jeremy. So yeah. each of us have birds that absolutely love us and birds that absolutely hate us. Uh, it's just kind of the luck of the draw. Uh, birds are, they're spe you're special, huh? Because it's really hard to read these guys. That's her. I'm going to kill you. Hi! Hello. Hi, hello. So this is, for the most part, just a day run. It won't hold all our birds at the same time, so Jeremy does rotate them throughout the day, so they all get a chance to come out. When we do get reopened and or moved, we have this huge aviary that we plan on putting together finally um, that will house these guys. Good dancing, hello. A scream's coming. I can, I can feel it. All right. What is next? What is next? Oh, what is Bob? Bob is a cross between a, what is he? Scarlet, Scarlet and a blue and gold. Blue and gold. Catalina. That's the word, yeah. This is not one that would be found in the wild. This is a man-made bird. Oh. Hybrid. This is a GMO bird. <laughs> Hi. Um, Bob actually Hi. here is my worst bite out here, along with Ashley's worst bite out here. Huh. We kind of have that love-hate relationship. He only loves me when I hand him grapes or peanuts. And that's about it. What bird dances the most? Poppy. <laughs> Poppy, 100%. Hi, Millie. Ello dances when she wants attention. Hi, you mean little bugger. Most... Millie always gets jealous when you flirt with Bob. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. I used to sing to Bob all the time and get him dancing, and then he met that turd. She's the meanest bird you will ever meet in your entire life. She is beautiful, but man, can she bite. I feel like Angel's meaner than her. <laughs> Angel's actually nice to me now. But Millie, I cannot win Millie over at all. Millie hates me. Oh, thank you. There he goes. 
And let me tell you, Bob can fly. Yes, he can. <laughs> Look at all. I also feel like he is our biggest macaw. He's beautiful. He really is a beautiful bird. Well, yeah, because he has that mix of scarlet. Mm -hmm. 